Alright, so in this video we'll go ahead and show the import and export in Magento for paper rental products. So you'll want to go to System, Import, Export, Data Flow Profiles. Now once you're there, you click on Export All Products. And you'll see the options, you don't need to change anything, just click Run Profile and Pop-up. So that's going to export the file. Then you'll need to connect to FTP and from the FTP folder if you are in the main folder of Magento you want to go to the var export folder. So if, of course if your Magento is in a subfolder you'll need to go to that folder. So you'll see the file that was generated there then you download that to your desktop for editing. and it's just a normal CSV file so let me close Excel so that it allows it to overwrite it since I already had it open alright so let's open that up in Excel and explain a few of the columns okay so here it is let me fit it in the window alright so here's all the list of your products and you'll see the different columns. Now let's briefly explain those. The store, that's the store it shows up in. The website. So what you'll probably want to do is just copy over the options from your previous products and then change the fields that you want to change like this. So click on it. Or actually let's click on a configurable product first. And then paste that into a new row. And so we're making this a reservation type product as you can see the category ID it's in. I believe multiple categories are separated by colons um, so you'll need to have handy a reference for what your category IDs are which you can view in the admin. So let's briefly look at that. Go to the main store. So expand all. All right. Well, let's take a look at that later after I see how to do the different categories to list those all for you. But so you'll see here the category ID, the SKU code. These are all pretty straightforward. It has options. That's if this is a configurable product, like you have a one with different sizes. You have the product name, URL. Um, you can leave the URL blank, and those will auto-generate. Now, the image part's important. So all you'll want to do is set your main image, and those other images will generate for you. So if you put that Let's look at the FTP again and go into how Magento organizes your images. So you'll want to go to Media and Catalog, Product, and you just want to put your product images in there. So that's what it calls the root of your images. So if you were to put an image in there, you just put slash to say that it's part of that folder and put your image name here. Okay, so here's some more options. The you can just copy that. Some of these are just default stuff that Magento has, of course. Now the price, if it's a for sale product, and the cost, uh, if you want to do reports on how much your actual profit is, the weight. All these are pretty straightforward. The description of the product. Let's keep scrolling, short description, the status if it's enabled or not, tax class. Oops. So you'll see a bunch of things here. They're all pretty self-explanatory. For example, if you have a minimum quantity. Let's skip to some of the stuff that might be a little more confusing. Since all these you can get by just looking at the other products already in your store. So of course you'll first want to add a product to your store to make this more straightforward for you. 
So you'll see the product name and so forth. The product type, that's an important one. A simple product is one that's just for sale. Configurable is one that holds other products. That's as we show in another video called attributes. So you might want to check out that video too. A reservation means it's a product that's a rental. So let's skip forward. You'll see if you have attributes for a product, for example, color, then you can set those here. Now we'll continue going. Now we found the paper rental columns. So you can copy those over again. It's best to set up a sample product and then see how the data works. So for example, we don't have a minimum rental period for this product, so that's just set to please select. And if you were to want to use those, then try adding a sample product and re-downloading this spreadsheet to see what those fields look like. Now let's go to the last one. And this is reservation prices. So let's just briefly look how that looks, see how that looks. So you'll see here the first one is a number. The second one is the type, such as day. So this is a one day rental is $5. That's what that means. These are for minimum and maximum quantities and dates that it's enabled. So I'm just going to skip those. So if you wanted to add more than one price point, you add a colon, a semicolon, and you can copy these over. And say you wanted to have a five day price, you put five there, and it's ten dollars, so you put a ten there. So that's how easy that is. Now I just save this. If I added that new product, of course I would want to change the SKU since I didn't, oh no, I already did change that to unique SKU code. And then you would go into System, Import, Export, Data Profiles, and you would click on import products and you would choose to upload your file and choose the one you're using then you would want to save and continue edit so that's going to upload that file then you go to run profile and select that file that you just uploaded and click run profile and pop up and you'll be good to go.